Uh, this definitely uh, made our confidence go up, but uh, playing together, just sharing a ball, just having fun together. It's a big family on the court. Um, also, a couple games you got to play in front of your home crowd now. How does it feel to just be back in Teague? and have that support from the students and Abilene. Oh, it's definitely great. Uh, trying to go undefeated again, like last year. So, you know, great to, we're at a great start at 2-0 right now. So you go 6 for 13th in the field tonight. You had double digit points. So what are you guys really looking for from tonight, heading into Wednesday and Saturday? Say that again? So what are you looking for from tonight, heading into Wednesday and Saturday? Uh, same thing, just go out there and just play ACU basketball. Yeah, I think that goes back to our senior leadership. You know, I mean, we knew uh, coming in it was going to be a quick turnaround. Uh, sometimes it's, it's, it's real easy to kind of lose your edge in these games. And, and our goal was to come out and do what we do defensively. And I, I thought that starting group and even that second wave of players we put in did a great job of keeping that intensity, uh, forcing them into turnovers. Uh, when we were turning them over, we were scoring. And that, that's, that's the key, you know. Uh, when we were taking the ball from them, take, stealing possessions, and we were going down and getting easy baskets. Again, you talk about the turnovers. It was tw at least 20 through the first four, 34 tonight. Um, just what is the importance of just that defensive intensity? Yeah, I mean, it, again, we want to get better every night, you know, every game. And, and I think defensively I was disappointed the other day in the second half, uh, the little low we had. And so our goal was to not do that today. Uh, and I think we, we avoided that. We had. We didn't play really good offensively for a while in the second half today, but I thought we kept our defensive intensity throughout the game, which I think is why you know it turned into 34 turnovers forced, 18 steals, uh, which I don't care who you're playing, that, that's outstanding. You know, uh, that, that's, that's a good Division III basketball team. Um, I know the score doesn't make it look that way, but that's a very good coach, um, and that's a very good team that's going to have a really good season. So what did you see from Logan tonight? You know, had a pretty big second half with 13 points. Uh, you have played pretty well. So just tell me about some individual performances tonight that kind of stuck out to you. Yeah, I just told you, I, I thought he really, I thought he went in the right direction tonight. I, I thought you really played well. Uh, you know, he did a great job getting out there on the ball screens and trapping like we're supposed to do. He was communicating, which is something we've been struggling with him. Um, but uh, so I thought he took a step in the right direction. I'm excited. I think he, he played well the other night. And, and hopefully he's going to be able to start getting more and more minutes for us and start sliding into that rotation a little bit, I hope. He's not there yet, but hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll get there. Uh, Logan, been waiting for Logan to step out there and hit some shots. Uh, we know that's what he can do at a high level. Um, he's just, again, he's just got he's to step out defensively for us. And I think the last two games he's done a really good job of trying to get out there and pressure the ball and get in passing lanes. Um, you know, I was telling him, get backdoored, man. He got backdoored twice. That, that's a good thing. Uh, that means he's out in the passing lanes. And so if he can do that, if he can step it up on the defensive end, then we know what he can bring to us offensively. You know, and, and so I'm looking for him to hopefully, you know, continue this, this step in the right direction on the defensive end of the floor. What do you take away, I guess, from a game like tonight? Yeah, I think just, again, I think we got better. I mean, I, I think our whole goal every single day is to get better from the last game or from the last day. You know, in practice, we want to be better than we were yesterday. Uh, in games, we want to be better than we were against McMurray. And I, I, think, we were that, I think we were that. I think we did get better. Uh, we forced more turnovers. We got more steals. Um, and I think our offensive execution was better. We were patient. Uh, we, didn't, we knew we were going to get a good shot early in the shot clock. Our whole goal was to turn down good shots so we could get great shots. And for the most part, for about 30 minutes, we did that. You know, for about 10 minutes in the second half, we, we kind of got away from that. But I do think we got better tonight from Saturday. And hopefully on Wednesday, uh, we, you know, we added a game. Uh, and so hopefully when the University of Dallas comes in here, we'll be better on Wednesday than we were today. What are your thoughts on the crowd tonight? I know you're looking for you know, some more students to come to this game. So I guess what are your thoughts on that? I'm going to keep working that crowd, man. We, we, I mean, this, this is an awesome place to play if you get some people in here, man. And I think that shows. I mean, we had a loud crowd today, and it wasn't quite full. You know, I, I think... Um, the students, we got a great basketball team. These are, their, these are their classmates, man. This is a small college. You know, that, the great part about that is they go to class with these guys, man. They know these players. Come support them, you know. Uh, and then I think we can still do better in the community of Abilene. Uh, the community does a great job coming out and supporting us, but I think we can get more. I mean, this team, what, what we've done over the last four or five years, man, um, this team, is, is, this whole program has done a really good job representing this university, representing this city. And so I think, you know, we want to get more people here to support these guys.